Hey everybody, before we get started with this procedure, I just wanted to remind you we've got that awesome giveaway going on. Again, it's custom orthotics or over-the-counter inserts which we are going to mail you. Um, please don't forget, click the link and this will tell you exactly what to do, but it's pretty simple. Like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel. Pretty easy, okay? If you want to, maybe tag a person who would enjoy these videos. Good luck! So this young lady comes in today with this soft tissue lesion that's just grown on her foot within the past six months. She has little spots elsewhere in her body so it wasn't too concerning. She's now getting some pain with it, whether it be because of a nerve that runs through there or from shoe gear, um, not really sure. So we're gonna poke into it today and see what we get. I've got her numbed up um, with some lidocaine and some marcaine up under it. So let's see what happens. We'll be surprised together. All right, honey, can you feel that? When I feel it, it feels kind of firm and not necessarily fluid filled, but it's flu It's oh. definitely fluid filled. It's gonna get Dr. Barco in the face. That's my goal. <laughs> so that was just clear, serous fluid. Sometimes you just get cysts that form in your body mm -hmm. can be due to trauma could have been due to friction or pressure in the area um but i suspect the pain is coming from those two toes it could be um and, and like that a, way and it makes me think that's right. yeah it could easily be the case um i am going to inject a tiny bit of steroid in here okay. because i can still feel a little something in there. So I want to make sure that I get whatever I can out. And the steroid will help to shrivel up a sack of the cyst if there's anything remaining in there, okay? Without me torturing you over and over and over, which is no fun for anybody but me. Just a little bit of steroid right into the hole. It will make it puff back up a little bit, but I promise you it won't stay that way for long, okay? Okay, well that was fun. So we're gonna dress it up with a little bit of iodine and a gauze and some tape. Um, it may still leak out over the next 24 hours or so. That's perfectly fine. Keep it covered until in the morning. At that point, you can take it off and you don't have to put anything else on it, okay? okay. Um, well, that was our cyst drainage. If you like videos like this, make sure to find us on YouTube under Lexington Podiatry. We've got lots of gross stuff.